Hello everyone, I am Sanjeevni Kusum and I am today back with another interesting episode of Single Women and in this segment we are discussing about the owners and the neighbors who live with around the single women what are the problems and the embarrassing situations that we face because of that and before going into it I request you to please press upon the subscribe button showing on your screen on the right side and now let us go into the topic. So in India, it is difficult for a single woman to rent a house. People are ready to rent a house to bachelors even, but they are quite reluctant to rent a house to single women when she is living alone, particularly not with the friends. And in this part of India, it is quite progressive in Andhra Pradesh and uh, now the situation has changed. But initially when I started my career, I faced a lot of uh, questions from the owners. I mean, they would ask me, who are you? <laughs> I mean, India, who are you? The question means that what is your caste? And I would have liked to question them again. Whom do you want? I mean, my father has a different caste. My mother has a different caste. My grandparents had a different caste. And what do you want? I can give whatever you like. But I just smiled and gave whatever answer came into my mind. My fathers, our mothers, our grandmothers. So after that, the next question was, who would be living with you? <laughs> I mean, what's your family, your husband, your kids? Uh, um, when I said I'm single and they would look at me and say that, okay, we will let you know. And most of the times I didn't get the home. But the situation has changed now in this part of the country and I'm not asked these questions anymore. Uh, so uh, now coming to the neighbors. Neighbors are very interesting people and for them, a single woman is a very interesting thing I can't say thing. She is a very interesting creature and a fearful creature. People are scared of her. People are afraid her, her, of her. And she is a very intriguing character who becomes the topic of every gossip that goes into the neighborhood. <laughs> um, so, there are two types of neighbor. One type of neighbor who would stay completely aloof from you because you are single. Uh, I mean, it's like untouchables. They won't look at you, they won't talk with you, they won't interpret with you, exchange any words with you. The only reason is you are single. You are a taboo. You are not a thing to be talked. <laughs> we are untouchables. And another type of uh, neighbors who are too friendly with you and they treat you as one of them, as one of their family and treat my house as their own house. So, before a couple of years when I was living in a house and there were neighbors, uh, when I came back from college in the evening, so every evening my neighbors would come to my house, the housewives, and they would start the gossip. So, Kusum, what is all this, all this, all this? Uh, okay. They don't, it doesn't matter to them if you are listening to them, if you are not listening to them, if you are paying attention or not. The only requirement they need to have it, you got this external pinna or external ear. If you have external ear, that's enough, okay, for them to talk. Just look at them and say, huh, hmm, at some times, and that's enough for them. And in between the talk, they would also drop some statements like, oh, Kusum, you might not be busy, I know, because you don't have anything to do, right? You don't have a husband and kids to attend, he, he, he. What a bad joke, really. And they would also say, you don't need to cook, because there would be some leftover from the afternoon or in the morning. <laughs> I mean, what if I say the same thing to you? I don't know why people pass such comments. And coming to the kids, the kids would treat my house as a public park. I mean, they can come here anytime. They can go from here anytime. And I'm not supposed to say no to them or I would become a bad auntie. Uh, what kind of a woman is that she doesn't even allow kids? So kids come and play and they can do anything and uh, parents also say, say that yeah you can go to the auntie because she lives alone she doesn't need privacy is it so if i say that you also to you too don't need privacy <laughs> really and in the part i live i mostly live in apartment not in individual houses for security purpose and most of the pe people live in closed doors and they close their doors even it is uh, uh, daytime or night time all the doors are closed the front doors are closed and even mine is also closed except in the morning so when some visitor comes to my home then it becomes a uh, spectacle for uh, for the whole neighborhood for all the flats on that floor everyone comes out to see who has come to kusum's house 
how much time they have spent inside why has she locked her door what are they doing inside her and in the evening i would be posed with the question who was that was he your brother was he your uncle was he your cousin i mean why i am i not supposed to have my friends visiting me my colleagues visiting me can't they visit me matlab why is it so that i need to be visited only my brothers and cousins and uncles why can't someone else visit me am i asking you uh, how much time you are spending behind doors with your uh, visitors no i'm not concerned with that and then why are you concerned about that and then some people would ask me my neighbors what's cooking for today and then the, i would give them the list that i am cooking a curry and i am cooking a chutney then i am cooking some kind of dal along with the rice and they listen to the whole recipes and they oh my god we don't even cook for the whole family that you are cooking for yourself <laughs> i mean really that's your choice if you don't cook and you prefer to eat out that's your choice but i prefer to cook for myself so is that a crime to cook for myself i don't understand and there was another comment that i faced from the people when they see my cutlery they say that kusum why do you need to have so much cutlery you cook in one then put it into another one then serve it into another one and eat with the spoons and forks if i were you i would eat right away from the bowl in which i have cooked i mean really i'm not a dog that i would put my mouth into the bowl and eat it <laughs> then why do you expect it from me i mean do you do the same thing in the house i love cutlery and i like to have a good life so is that a crime i don't know why they behave in such a way and i have an interesting incident here so there was this women in the lift when i was coming from uh my my weekly marketing i had a grocery bag in one hand and in another hand i had this vegetable bag from which the curry leaves were peeping out and um the fruits were peeping out and she said what would you do of all these vegetables well <laughs> what would someone do with the vegetables they cook right i just wanted to say that i would put them in a grinder i would paste them and i would paint my walls with them but i remained calm and said that i would cook with them that was the look she gave me <laughs> you would cook i said uh, i mean is there any shortcut for uh, uh, surviving if you have to survive you have to cook you have to eat and if you have shortcut you can just suggest me and i would also follow otherwise that question is really stupid and ridiculous that do you cook how do people survive and most of the problems that arise from my neighbors is because of the jealousy that i face from them you know jealousy is a uh, different kind of feeling when you have love you can express the love saying that you love them or uh, you can do good things for them and when you hate someone you can express your hatred by avoiding them or saying that i don't like you but how do one express jealousy jealousy is a different kind of feeling that is expressed by your actions or by your words and this is the thing that i face from most of my uh, neighbors so when i am walking uh, home after the college when i park my car in the cellar there are a lot of women who would be um, forming a round table conference of chairs in the cellar and they would be talking about i don't know what and i have to step down from my car take my things and then walk through them to the lift so that's the most horrible time of the whole day and i feel like i'm upon a ramp i'm doing ramp walking ramp walk among uh, thousands of people watching me they are very judgmental and their eyes goes from top to bottom <laughs> i mean they would they would uh, judge what you are wearing what your earrings what are your um, footwear and what the bag you are carrying and uh, what's in your arms are they books what kind of books are they and they would be the topic of their discussion for the next one or two hours i mean really 
how can you do that i mean don't you feel embarrassing staring at someone like that i don't know and uh, people complained about me people have complaints about me their jealousy is uh revealed in such matters that they complained about very silly things that you can't even imagine so one of my neighbors my downstairs neighbors right downstairs he had they had the complaint that they hear a pounding sound at 2 o'clock in the morning can you imagine 2 o'clock in the morning when everyone is sleeping they imagine that i'm pounding something <laughs> what can i pound something at two o'clock in the morning oh my god can they apply some logic to what they're complaining about and when i say that i don't need to pound anything because i have juicer mixer grinder everything i don't need to pound anything but they're not able to uh, realize that they're just stubborn no you pound something in the middle of the night <laughs> and then another neighbor they have a um, complaint that even when i'm not at home they can hear thumping sound from my floor to their floor uh, in the afternoon in the afternoon the house is almost alone because i i am in the office and only my puppy is there and they say that maybe your puppy's walks too heavy she is hardly 5 kg here and can you imagine getting disturbed by 5 kg of weight downstairs neighbors uh and they have problem with my waking habits also i wake up at 5 in the morning and do my puja and cooking and all that and go to college that's my regular routine and they say why do you wake up so early we can't sleep because you are all running around your house and making sounds we wake up at 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock i doesn't care when you wake but i have to wake up at 5 o'clock right and if that's a disturbance i <laughs> just can't imagine what to do i can't just sleep it off my office right so think of some logical reasons here and one very funny thing i will like to tell you that uh, my maid she my maid she was just uh, putting the clothes upon the balcony when the downstairs neighbor said that he uh, the water from the cloth it fell into the cup of tea he was carrying and the tea fell upon his face and his face burned what a timing i mean my maid is spreading the cloth upon the balcony and that man is standing with his cup spread like this and the tea falls in it and the uh, and water falls in it and the tea falls upon his face can some timing is so perfect really i mean can't people find some logical reasons to ooze me out from the apartment apart from the silly and ridiculous reasons find something so strong that i can be ousted in a minute of course i would find another one it's not new to me we single women are very strong we are made like that people make us like that so <laughs> these are some of the and and yeah yeah i forgot one thing so one of the neighbor had complained my opposite door neighbor the opposite door is some 20 feet away from here i have a lot of plants in my balcony and the and their complaint was that the soil and the sand from my plant pots is flying into their house and making it dirty i mean soil flying from 20 feet to in their house and making their dirty can you imagine that <laughs> I just really can't help laughing at how silly their reasons can be. They are coming out of jealousy. Please grow up, people. We are also part of the society, and we are not doing any harm to you. Then let just let us live in peace. Okay. So this was all about today's topic. In the next single women topic, we will be discussing about the problem single women face with, ah, uh, not problem, the embarrassing situations with our friends. Ah, uh, so. Uh, till then stay tuned see my other videos and like them thanks a lot have a good day